So today we're going to be watching the Disenchanted official trailer. I thought the other trailer was the official one, but apparently it was the teaser. I thought I might as well do this one as a follow-up from the other trailer reaction. And I also promised I was going to do a full reaction for this film. So I might as well watch this trailer as well. I'm really scared. <sighs> and without any further ado, I mean, let's get into this. I know that change can be scary, but it can also be exciting. Let's start our new life. Woo! Yeah! Okay. No. Yeah. I knew the ones was from them. Not if we can help it. <gasps> oh! Feels very different. <laughs> Is it sometimes easier to live in Andalasia? Well, I wouldn't say easier. We have dragons and ogre rebellions. Last year, the entire kingdom was trapped in a giant whale. Oh. This is not a magic land. It is a land far, far away from my friends. Yeah. So Aww. I'm a commuter now. You're riding this train over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And then you die. Aww. As you can see, Giselle, everyone has their place once you found where you fit. And Rufel can be whatever you wish. I wish for a fairy tale life. Remember. Ever after. The CGI looks slightly different. My hair is so high and my dress is so low. Jumping jelly sticks, magic. <laughs> okay. This town is turning into a fairy tale, but it's all gone terribly wrong. I'm the last stroke of midnight. Nothing will be as it was before. I'm not an evil cat. I'm oh. not an evil cat. I'm not an evil cat. Oh my god. What is going on? You need to remember your place here. Stepmother, please. Giselle is under a curse. We have to stop this or everything and legend will die. There's no oh my god. wishing your wish now, Giselle. Come on. Time to be heroes. You know there's only room for one villain in this town. Oh. You're hilarious. <laughs> Delusional. But hilarious. Oh! What the hell? What the hell is this? Oh my god, oh my god, wait. So that kind of... Um... That kind of went against... Um, a few of my theories. If anybody watched my theory video the video that I that I did on my my thoughts and my theories that kind of went against a lot of the things I said. I said, "Oh well, maybe maybe uh, what's her name Monroe is gonna be like, yeah, is gonna try and be a friend and try and get her to enjoy being a villain." But it looks like they are kind of like. Well, th there's only room, there's only enough room for one, and then in this town, like, like, a, like a western. Um, but this film feels like there's a lot in it, and that is kind of frightening. If anybody, uh, don't worry, da don't worry, Dallin is a good example of a film that tried to put too much in. I, I, I don't get me wrong. I like Don't Worry, Darling. Contrary to po uh, popular opinion, I don't like to shit on this movie. I actually think Don't Worry, Darling was a good movie, but there were. A lot of things that I have to look past and ignore to really enjoy this movie because of, and I'm talking about Don't Worry Darling, not in China, by the way, um, because of how many things were put into it and it left a lot of ideas, a lot of them didn't have enough room to breathe. 
And what happened, yeah, they were all just crammed in. And so there wasn't enough time to process ideas and really make a solid point. Because this movie was highly political in its message. And movies like that really need to be solid. And this Disenchanted kind of is given that vibe of there's a lot going on. And I really hope that that doesn't mean it's overcrowded and that it just means that there is a lot to this film and that there's a lot of layers rather than everything trying to cram onto the same layer. You know, if you want lots of things, you have to have layers. You can't just put them all on layer one and two. You know, think of, think like atoms. You know, not everything can fit on the same orbit, on the same layer. So, I mean, that's my, my verdict there. I mean, the trailer was... It was good. Yeah. It, the trailer was good, but I, I'm just... It's, it's kind of got me a little bit scared, but I do think I'm going to enjoy it regardless. When I watch a trailer, I am... Um, I'm usually... Well, from watching the trailer, I usually... I'm able to understand from that point what how I'm going to feel about the end result, how I'm going to feel about the film. Usually how I feel about the trailer, I feel about the film. There's only been a few times where I've been disappointed. For example, Ant-Man and the Wasp, the Quantumania trailer, the film is, the, the trailer was okay. And so in my eyes, the film is either going to be mediocre or it's going to be bad. I cannot see it being film of the year. I cannot see it being a good film at all, really. I can see it being okay. Um, I can see it being a good enough bridge to better things. Like, story-wise. But I can't imagine it being that amazing. And I'm just putting that out there. I'm just saying that right now, while I still have the chance, just in case I am right, and then in the future I can go, ha, told you so. And this film, I think I'm going to enjoy it either way. Whether it's bad or not, I'm going to see the good side because there's already so much to it that, I, that I'm liking. There is a lot of WandaVision in it, and I loved WandaVision. If you don't know what I'm on about, I'm going to... Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, because I'm streaming this, if you're watching this on YouTube, I will put the thing here. Uh, look, Ooh. right, click on that, and there'll also be a link in the description as well. Click on that, and that will take you to my video for my thoughts and theories, what I was talking about. Some of these theories might co actually still come true. I'm just feeling a little bit more doubtful about my Monroe theory. As I said, I had a theory about Monroe. She becomes the evil queen through this spell. And so she's trying to get Giselle to be evil with her. And, you know, egg her on and be like, yeah, look, being evil is so good. Because she doesn't want Giselle to be able to reverse the spell. But instead, we went... I can, well, not a completely different route, but a slightly different one where they don't like each other because they're both evil. Okay, and there's like a boss battle at the end. What? It's not completely disorientating because there was, in the first film, there was a kind of death match at the end of that as well. But it was slightly different, you know. N Queen Nerissa was a giant dragon on the top of like the Empire State Building or whatever it was, and she was like this little tiny person throw throwing swords. Like, whereas this one, it's like head to head match. It's like Civil War, <laughs> like uh, uh, Captain America Civil War. It's it's like. 
or like Harry Potter versus Voldemort. It's giving that vibe. And I'm like, hmm. It's given more Marvel than it's given Disney. And I know Disney is Marvel. Like, Disney owns Marvel, but Disney's own things should stay in their domain of fairy tale and, and stories and things. And then Marvel should stay in superheroes. Giselle versus Monroe? Or whatever. Malvina? It's given. Marvel superhero vibes. And I don't know how I feel. Because it all just comes down to... And, and then there's also the One Division influence. Whoever the writer was... Whoever the writer was must have had a massive Marvel influence. They must have found out they were working for Disney and went, Right, I know exactly how to make them proud. And, oh, and, and they'll be like, oh, well, if I do this, maybe Disney will put me forward for a Marvel movie. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Let me see who the disenchanted writer is. I'll, I'll get the I'll get the thing on. Um, disenchanted writer. Who was the writer on this film? Oh. Quite a few people. Oh no, these are these are songwriters. Girl, that's not what I asked for. Adam Shankman directed it. He looks a bit fruity. Oh, this per scroll. Oh, okay. I guess that's the talk. Oh. Like, this, the CGI looked kind of dodgy, like, I'm, I'm kind of afraid for this, I'm scared it's just gonna look like a really crappy, like, Netflix series. Um, I know it's a streaming movie, but come on. Uh, writers, teleplay, story by, story by. So what did David N. Wise do? Shrek 2, are we there yet? Talk stoppers. Okay. So they did kind of uh, kids' movies. Right. Okay. J. David Stem. Oh, also did. Okay, that's confusing. And, um, Bridget Hales. What did Bridget Hales do? Once Upon a Time. <sighs> yeah. I definitely see that. Once Upon a Time. They've only done four things. Girl. But I mean, I guess doing a big massive series like Once Upon a Time. <laughs> the thing is, is from tw these later seasons, they kind of just got, it was just a lot. And they, they were trying to balance so much of nothing. And again, I'm scared about that, this for Disenchanted. Is there, is there going to be a, a lot going on? Or is there going to be too much going on? And I'm quite scared about this. Okay. Okay. Well, Bridget, I really hope you have your head screwed on. I don't know what a teleplay is. What's a teleplay? I know what a screenplay is, but I don't know what the difference is. I'm a film student, guys. I've only been doing it for... A month. A teleplay is a screenplay used in the production of a scripted television program or series. Yes, yeah, so it's a screenplay for a show. What? <laughs> what? 
Right. Okay. I think they should change that. Like that that shot is really good with the wind blowing. Okay. So what do I think? I think I'm still I'm still excited. I'm still just as excited as I was before. I just have maybe slight a slight larger amount of doubts. Um I'm scared that there's gonna be too much that that it's it's stepping into a domain that it doesn't need to. I'm scared that it's gonna turn into a wannabe Marvel movie and I don't I don't want that. I, I don't want that. Marvel has its own issues. Right. <laughs> Marvel has it has its own problems that it needs to deal with. Can we not infect like do do we do we need to infect Enchanted with this as well? It's very Marvel. We're given one division. We're given boss fight at the end. And oh my god. Would Giselle and Malvina be adjacent to Wanda and Agatha. Ow! I just hurt myself with my ring. <laughs> yeah. That is a fear. I'm... <sighs> okay. Okay. <sighs> well. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time. Unless you're watching a stream, and in which case, you're sticking with me. Okay.